He finished third, 38th and 9th in the previous stages. He sits fourth in Angler of the Years. It's Gerald Spore! smashing them right now. Yeah. I'm, I'm catching them. Ain't yeah. no doubt. Yep. Yeah, it's a matter of time now. <sighs> They're biting on the penalty. You're in the 13th now. That's how quick that happened. Yeah. That's the point. 
Oh, big time. Like, we're here to get bites, land fish, and food and fish. No one deserves it. You had a great day, huh? Considering you would throw up if you saw some of the fish I lost. You serious? Dude, I lost some big ones, man. I mean, brother, you're in there, 19 pounds, dude. You're right there. I should. It should be over already. I should already be in the cut. I hate to hear that. I'm trying to figure out how to mitigate it because I got some really good stuff that has big ones and it has numbers. I caught a ton of 114s and 115s, and then those big ones. Is I'm dredging that crankbait on the bottom the whole time, and those big ones have yeah. to, they have to eat it off the bottom, and so they don't get it good because they're eating it off the yeah. bottom, you know. And and I, I got to figure out a way. I got to change my system up a little bit. I got to I, I got to see if I need to put some oversized hooks on there. I put the biggest number two gamma got two triple grips that I had, but I feel like they need to be bigger. All right, here we are, day two at Lake Chickamauga. Along with um, cups. Got a, I'm, I'm 17th place right now. That cut line's at 20, Summit and we're trying to make it to the knockout Cup round. Champions. I had a lot of bites that I didn't capitalize on the first day, so I'm real excited to get out there today and take another shot at that. Uh, I got some really good areas. I'm offshore on the ledges, getting a lot of bites. A lot of them are one pound, 15 ounces. So I'm barely, I mean, two pounds is the minimal so score. Sure so we're, we're catching a ton of fish, but half those fish are non-scorable bass. Um, so hopefully sure today, they're a little bit bigger. They ate shad real good last night. And they're a little bit fatter, so I need them to weigh a little bit more. Um, I'm gonna get out there and try to knock it out the park, but looking to make our fourth knockout round in a row. So wish me luck and I'll see you guys out there. Oh, goodness gracious. Dude, that sucker was big. And he freaking hit it right at the boat and broke my line. Big bass? I'm assuming. <laughs> I loaded up on him and I was like, cool. And all of a sudden it just went pow. Real quick because it hit it so close to the boat. Can't get him going, going on this yet. Five minutes in, around the elimination line, Gerald, you're in 19th position. A two pounder would put you into 16th. Yep, tonight's fish taco night, too. Pardon? Tonight's fish taco night. Oh. <laughs> They'll be firing on the ledge over there. And over here, these fish just don't want to eat nothing. All these places got fish on them. You're two ounces behind Cliff Pace for 19. The scoreable bass would put you into 15. It'd be close. I don't know. One pound, 15 ounces. <laughs> be so many that size you're now in 21st you're five ounces behind Bobby Lane 
and 20th. A two pound fish would put you into 19th. You have six minutes. It's 115. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, end of period 1. Man, those 115 are killing me. It's amazing. Gerald Sporer now, eight pounds, two ounces below the Toro cut line, 26th place. Looks like he's burning that crankbait too. Not quite as hard as some of those other guys, but. I think that's one right there. Come on, baby. Be a big one. There she is, big one. Stay down, stay pegged. This is my punt. It's the only way I knew to get some big bites. Oh, I think she just come off. She just come off. No, no, she didn't. Yeah, she, oh, no, no, she didn't. No, she didn't. She's swimming right at me. Ah. Oof. That's a big one. That's it. That's why we came long line. It's a baby. ledge it's leviathan. <laughs> Come on. Five pounds, eight ounces. 210 back now, Sporer. Come on, one more. He started the day 17th, but has fallen below the Toro cut line. Can he make that climb back? Up in the score, I see her way out there. Oh, that might score. Yeah, that might score. Two pounds, three ounces. <gasps> Two pounds, three ounces. All right. I can't get on that trolling motor fast enough. Oh, crap. He's within seven ounces of the Toro cut line and in 21st. Ooh. Final 18 minutes. 20 moving on. 20 headed home. He needs one scoreable to get himself in. No, damn it. Fixed lane in violation, two minute penalty. He ain't even gonna count. The double whammy for Spore. Eight, seven. Five, four, three, two, one. Lines All up. All right, didn't make the cut on Chickamauga. Heartbreaking. This place has got my number. I have not made a cut here yet since I started professional fishing. Um, you know, I feel like I was doing the right things. I had to, I had really, I had really good bites on day one. I lost a lot of big fish the first day. Uh, you know, I know losing fish is part of the game, but it was like, it was excessive on day one. I, I lost a lot of big fish. Uh, came home, uh, changed, changed all my hooks uh, to triple grip hooks and, and changed my line from 12 to 15 and, and made a few adjustments to try to capitalize on any bite that I would have because I, I was catching a lot of fish long line. I would cast the bait out behind me and I would stretch the line out until 
took all the line off my reel, then I would turn the boat around and I would crank that crankbait in. It'd be about a 200 yard long cast. And, um, and it, it allows that crankbait to get down and dredge the bottom for at least 100 yards or so. And that's real important when you're fishing these ledges out here is making that bottom contact with a crankbait. But when you hook one, and I mean, he would literally be jumping over a hundred yards away and you don't have a lot of control over the fish. Uh, so the first day it didn't work out. Today, uh, I did a little bit of long line and, I, and, and it worked out at the end. I caught a five, eight and uh, another scoreable and two nine scoreables and almost jumped into the cut. I missed a cut by seven ounces. So not the worst finish that I could have had here. I did not bomb. Um, so it was a mid pack finish out of 80 guys. I'm going to finish like 41st. Uh, and I did get a heavy hitters fish. So that's uh, a five, eight and one towards heavy hitters. So that ought to keep me in good standings with heavy hitters. And I should still be around top 10 in points overall. So good week here. Wasn't what I was hoping. Um, but it is what it is, you know, uh, just got to leave here with your head high. Know that I made a good last minute decision to move and catch those few fish at the end and have a chance at it. Uh, but it's just part of it. So uh, that's the first cut I missed this season. Um, I had two top tens, another knockout round finish where I finished in the thirties. And then this one's uh, a 40th place, 41st place finish or so. So move on to the next one. We have three events left. Season's going good, but Chickamauga still has my number and I'm gonna get it back one day.